Hello Gemini and welcome to Soul Sundays. Gemini is just a quick three card spread for your week ahead, one for mind, body and soul. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me clear and accurate reading for Gemini. Please show me what's coming up for their week ahead, including a message for their mind, body and soul. How are you guys going? We've had a full moon in Aries. It's either today for you, depending on where you're located in the world, being Sunday, or it's coming up on Monday, um, Monday morning, first thing Monday morning. Um, it's a great full moon for closing out some, um, I'm just going to take the top one, for closing out um, doors or things that are no longer serve you, for releasing and letting go. Um, it's also a great full moon for um, transformative energy so if you kind of feel like you've been in a bit of a rut or kind of um, I think your reading last week was something about finding your center about not really um, feeling grounded then this is a week for you where I think it'll change very strong energy coming out you have two cards uh, first you have the awakening or emergence uh, number 20 and then you have the card of acceptance for your body message one more card, please. If you have a health issue that you've been struggling with, I feel like this is um, asking you to really just step back and um, accept the current situation for the way it is. Try not to change it or to look for other solutions. The Awakening is a beautiful card. It's deeply spiritual. It's not a card that you take lightly. And I feel like it speaks to a lot of your year this year, Gemini. You've been going through so much change and transformation. Um, there it is. Wow, all A's, the awakening, acceptance, and alliance. Okay, beautiful card, the awakening. So um, if you have a look at the card, you can see, I was talking to you before saying how deeply spiritual it was, but you can kind of see the symbolism on it that talks to that level of spirituality. There's a star above the head, there's, um, you know, uh, there's an, a cross in the middle, there's a third eye, there's so many different bits and pieces here. Um, this card is known as the judgment in traditional tarot and it's all about judgments like your second chance, it's um, uh, a re rejuvenation, right? It's your chance to actually um, come back afresh. It's less um, a phoenix rising from the ashes, as I would say um, the fool would be. This is like okay, it's your second chance to try this and do it again. Um, it's really understanding your spiritual self or what's missing. And like I said, it's a deeply spiritual card, right? Um, the, the description says, awaken to a full blend of your physical and spiritual self. All that has been missing is you. So it's like bringing the three together, right? Spiritual, um, physical, and then your actual um, your actual body, right? So you've got your 3D world, you've got your 5D world, and then you've got the matter that hold, holds it all together. Um, it talks about a union and alignment within yourself, right? So basically, this year has been a real challenge for you trying to understand where you stand in terms of matters of the heart, trying to understand where you stand in terms of matters of your life purpose. If I'm clear, um, and if you haven't watched the yearly reading, it might be interesting to go back and watch before I do the next ones for 2020. But I feel like for you, it's like, um, you've been looking at your world and your surroundings with your physical eyes, but ignoring the spiritual self. And now your inner eye, your spiritual self is now waking up going, oh, it's time to wake up. You can't ignore this anymore. It's time to look at things from a different perspective. Regardless of what your religious belief is, this is not a religious play. This is about you and your personal beliefs and being able to see things unconditionally. Okay. Um, Gemini, you have this incredible ability to shut things off when you are unsure or not aware of where things are going, you just shut them down and move them away. That doesn't mean that you actually turn them off. They keep playing over and over and over and over in your head. And sometimes in terms of mindset that holds you back from achieving great things, because sometimes you need to actually accept um, two different modalities, two different parallels and, and not knowing, knowing that you don't know everything, which is really difficult for you because of, uh, how intelligent you are as a sign. Um, really interesting to have acceptance coming up as your physical, um, message for this week. As I said to you before, this really speaks about needing to accept your body in whatever state it's in. I think it's far more important to nail your mindset this week other than your body. Um, 
whatever you've been trying to do, achieve, whether you've been working out, whether you've been eating differently, um, I think sleep's been something that's been eluding a lot of you because I'm getting this drowsy kind of feeling behind my eyes. Um, if that's the case, then just accept that that's one area of your life you don't have now this week. And if it's the reverse and you feel like um, you've been putting a lot of energy into that, into your diet, into looking after, maybe you've been doing a detox, whatever it may be, then it's now time to not ignore this part and start looking at the things that um, in your mindset you don't have the answers for. Start questioning those things. Because then you have this card as your spiritual message. Um, and it's asking you to actually accept the fact that you're something, you're part of something greater, whether you have the physical definition of that or not. None of us do, right? But this card is saying, stop thinking in three dimensions, past, present and future. Allow yourself to connect with the moment and accept that there are some things that you just don't know. Um, and I'll read it to you from the book. It says, make the most of networking opportunities, respond to pressure by reaching out to people on different levels of education, experience, and social standing, because that will allow you to look at things from a more whole perspective, a more well-rounded perspective, right? Be wary of pretension or your ability to exclude yourself selectively. A challenge brings people together and cohesive rate relationships or a close net group will be what will lift your spirit this week. Alliance, Gemini, acceptance of where you are. And you know what? If this is something that's making sense to you, chat me in the comments below, send me an email, whatever it may be. I'm always here to have a chat. But um, sometimes I think we overlook the spiritual things that we don't understand and don't give them time or credit for. This week, the message very much is for you is to allow the awakening to happen, to allow yourself to go into that space and to allow yourself to have a look at things, not in a three-dimensional sense, but in a more spiritual sense. It's going to be an interesting week for you. I can't wait to hear what you think. I wish you much love and light. Take care.